So one thing, we had one thing we were a little bit nervous about when we were coming into Egypt. I can't believe it. We're here. We are in Egypt. We've been up for a couple of hours and there's just been like this excitement this entire time. I don't know the last time I felt this like excitement. Like this excited for a place. So this has been a long time coming. About five years ago when we graduated university, we wanted to go on like an epic world trip. Ooh. We thought it was like a world trip. It was so a three week trip. <laughs> it was a three, three week trip and we went to Singapore, the Maldives and Dubai. But Dubai wasn't actually the first choice. We were actually wanting to go to Egypt. It was like something that's been on our bucket list all through high school, all through university. But when we went to book our tickets, we realized that during that time, it was like a no-go zone for Australians. Australia was recommending people to go there and we're like, okay, let's go to Dubai instead. So we did that, had an amazing holiday, but really felt like, like we missed out. Like we've always wanted to go to Egypt. And here we are five years later, we finally made it. I can't, like I, I literally can't believe it. That's just what I'm gonna be saying the whole time. When we told our friends and family we were coming to Egypt, we kind of had the same reaction as when we told everyone we're going to Israel. Yeah, last year we went to Israel and everyone from my family and friends were, they were like, you're crazy. Why are you going to Israel? It is one of the most dangerous countries in the world. In hindsight, <laughs> looking back on that, it's absolutely insane. Like Israel is an amazing country, very safe country. We even crossed the border into Jordan, which was another safe country. Felt safe the entire time, had like an amazing trip. And now, a year later, mm -hmm. he's- Right <laughs> now, my cousin is in Tel Aviv. Sorry, Kaylee, I'm putting up your Instagram. She's in there with her husband and family. Also my parents. The ones who kind of doubted going to Israel. I'm sorry, mom. <laughs> they booked a trip and they're going to Israel in a couple of months time. So we always want to visit places because it's so unfortunate when you go to such an incredible site and it's been ruined by the media. Like when we were in Petra in Jordan, that is one of the wonders of the world. And there was 200 people there. Our guide in Petra was saying that years ago, maybe five, six years ago, it was 5,000 people visiting a day. We were happy though. Of we kind we of happy. felt like we had the place to ourselves. So Egypt, I feel like this it is kind a of has that similar connotations to it and we're really excited to be here and experience it for ourselves and really find out what it's about through our eyes and how we feel when we're here. Definitely. But, um, this is just like yeah. a first thoughts video. We are here for 13 days. There is so much planned, but yeah, we're currently in our hotel. We've had like three hours sleep because uh, we've got a little story to tell you. We're gonna have to rewind back to Frankfurt. <laughs> Welcome to the Frankfurt Airport, everybody. Had a moment to myself there. It wasn't stressful, just a little bit flustered because it's a really busy airport. Super busy airport. There are like, a lot of international there are a lot flights. Of flights. Like our flight is in two hours and it's still not up on the board, and the board yeah. has so many flights. Well, this is busy. This is super um, busy. Just look. <sighs> <laughs> So we actually ended up doing public transport because it's like nine euros each to get to the to the airport. It was fine, except for there's a lot of construction going on in Frankfurt at the moment. So we had to do a couple a, more trains. We had a stressful hour. Yeah. But now we've got to get through security. Alrighty, time for flight one. We're going to Athens. Two hour flight. Welcome to Athens, everybody. I feel like I uh, kind of blacked out on you the last kind of time we chatted. I just had the worst headache, but we've made it to Greece. You feel better now? Yeah, I feel so much better. I think I just needed, I needed a coat. <laughs> But we aren't here for long, we're just catching our connecting flight on the way to Egypt. You can't believe we're going to Egypt. Yeah, I know. Oh my gosh. Like, when will it sink Cairo. in? When we see the pyramids or like, oh when we, I don't know. I think this is like the biggest bucket list country I've ever had. Yeah. 
Oh I'll get on there. Anyway, we have two hours till our next flight. It's happening. Here we go. Jumping on our flight to Egypt. Wow. Next time we see you guys, we'll be. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cairo. Please keep your signals fastened until the signal sign has been switched off. Just arrived. Welcome to Egypt, everybody. It is a 20 to 2 in the morning. Oh. So one thing, we had one thing we were a little bit nervous about when we were coming into Egypt, and that's because a lot of people have told us stories about the airport and going through immigration and the airport being like this crazy busy place and it's hard to really understand what's going on. And what's really cool is we're actually here with a company called On The Go Tours and they do tours through Egypt. And one of the things is that they actually organize someone to help you get through the airport. So when we jumped off the plane, there was someone straight away standing there with an On The Go Tours sign. So it looked like he was an airport employee. That's kind of where we got the gist of, but he was hired by On The Go Tours. So being Australian, we can actually organize an e-visa. So you just go online, super simple, but we just decided to do it in person. It's 25 US dollars each. Now we jumped into this line. To be honest, the actual site where you get the visa, I didn't really see any major signs saying There's visa. There's no signs. It, it actually says like, bank. Yeah, it looked like a bank, but of course our airport buddy, we called him. He just said, you jump into this line and then we were waiting there for five, 10 minutes. I feel like we didn't move at all. He just came up. Do you have the 50 US dollars for both of us? Just took it off us, walked straight to like the front of the line and then said, um, can I have your passport? got out visa. visas in like a second <laughs> and the same thing happened with immigration the lines were so long Chaos. barely moving and what he did was he collected our passports and then went come with me went through the fast track way where no one was got us straight through immigration grabbed our bags went straight through bag check which was great and then kind of just took us to our bus yeah and then the bus took us here and it was just like so quick so easy i wouldn't quick. say it's like necessarily quick well, we it landed quicker than what it would be 100 percent agree quicker than what it would be but we landed at 1 1 a.m we didn't get to our hotel hence why we might look a little bit tired we didn't get to our hotel until about 4 a.m we'll, we'll chat in the morning guys <laughs> well into our room into our room it was a process it was a process and without our airport buddy I feel like that would have taken so much longer. Ages, so I definitely think if you're coming to Egypt and you're going on a group tour, that's awesome because I'm sure that they'll have airport people picking you up, but maybe you should organize, what do they call them? I'll put the word up here. There's a, I feel like there's a term and you can go online and look for these people. But of course we yeah. here on a small group tour and the company we, we are using to go throughout Egypt, they organize it for you in the price. It was awesome. You're not. Guys, please don't judge us. We've had like four hours sleep and we decided to sleep instead of go to breakfast. Hello, how are you doing today? <laughs> Hi, I was wondering if I could order a couple of things from you. Um, can I please have, uh, is it some, some busik? Oh my gosh, I'm so ready for this. What did you get? Oh my gosh, is it actually perfect. Okay, after Let's... this, time to explore Egypt. I want to try one of these. So I found out these are actually Libyan, not necessarily. They've given us all the sauces, by the way. Hot mm. sauce, mustard, mayo, and more hot sauce. This is so good. It just tastes like a... Samosa? It tastes, tastes like, like a samosa. samosa. Want some hot sauce? Alrighty guys, ready to see your first glimpse of Cairo? This is all we... <laughs> <laughs> That moment when you have a really messy hotel room. <laughs> this is the only snippet we've had as well so far. It's so different than anything we've seen before. Wow. We've come out here so many times. I keep Just... pinching ourselves. My... I can't believe we're in Egypt. It's so different. Than Looks very I've Middle seen. Eastern. Very looking Middle around. Eastern. Looking around. Wow. On the other side of the hotel, there's the Nile River. <laughs> we're on the Nile River right now. And one more thing before we actually leave the hotel and go and explore is I thought I'd show you our hotel room because this is the first night on our tour with On The Go Tours. We're doing the King Ramesses tour, just in case you're interested. But this is the hotel that's included in the tour. It's, it's pretty like, nice. It's such it's a big really hotel nice. room for a tour. Like, this is an amazing hotel. We're at the um, Holiday Inn in Cairo. But excuse the mess because we are a little bit lazy today because... We're pretty tired, but this is our room. So I've just been doing just a little bit charging here. This is a super comfortable bed. Got a TV. You can kind of see the bathroom in there. <laughs> and then, yeah, so we have this massive bathroom shower just in there. And yeah, you can close that if you want. We've just come out to the pool area. There's the Nile River. Like that's how close we are to it. Just a road separating oh us. Gosh. Oh, look what's over there. What? Can you not see him? <gasps> 
god, it's the pyramids! Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Wow, we can actually see them from our room. Oh my god, I actually feel really emotional. I can't believe they're here. I can't believe they're there. Lisa, oh my god, I just thought it was really cool. I need to go now. I was looking yeah, for something else. Yeah, this is tiny. It's currently the call for prayer. Are we... Guys, we've come to the pyramids. Like... <laughs> I can't believe how small the Sphinx is. It's like my biggest shock. <laughs> wow. Oh, we need to get good seats. <gasps> it's a doggy. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, so we've come down here. The sun's just set. And we've come to the light and sound show so what they do I guess is they light up the pyramids at night and they do like kind of like a show performance it's Disney good lights yeah. but on the pyramids it's, yeah, it's like the Disney castle Egyptian style here's your first look at the pyramids <laughs> show was good it was it was less Disney more National Geographic but we just come out for dinner I am so hungry it's like 8 30. Yeah. It's good. Okay guys Egypt is just beginning so if you are new around here make sure you hit subscribe because the adventures start tomorrow we're heading to the pyramids we have an overnight sleeper train and there's so much other stuff coming, so hope you enjoy this new Egypt series. See you guys next time. Bye! <laughs> we made it! Yeah. Alright guys, we've just arrived at Giza train station and we're waiting for our train. So we're actually going to be spending the next two nights living on board one of these felucas. So we're currently looking at probably the most famous tomb in the world. This is the tomb of Tutankhamun. I think we lasted like 30 minutes, was it? And then it just so. gets like a little bit too much because so many people want you to come in their stores.